perfume money all these people how are they still doing what they're doing how are we promote how are we not promoting laziness and we are not promoting hard work because because but I'll go for CMBG perfume spray. Because Obinim say Yembedi Obinim sticker. Because Obi say Okodi Obinim sticker. Ena onya petrol all the time. Ena want to petrol for Nikamu. I'm but this is the nonsense. So where is the law? Who is governing this? Because all those people, all those adverts, everything. And Yentiha. Yentiha ne bruka bruka say or the solution water. But me call here solution water. Um, um, video no. He threatened me. So the Obi kumi and as Obi yadain. And yeah, me papa and can nonsense I may reply no no the rubbish I would have said back to him with the video. I mean, me the last thing somebody can do to me is threaten me with death because we will all die. If you threaten me with something that would not happen to you, then maybe a be a mesro, a be a mesro. But to threaten because Ghanaians, the easiest way to get somebody is to threaten them with death. You threaten them with death, ah. Oh, almost rose a sea. Or back on a son or sorry, I say, or post pastor, and back I say, me who death, me who a war be with family. Everybody dies. You can die old, you can die young. Stop being scared of death. Yet he had a broker, broker, a year advert, ding, 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 solution water, solution water, solution water. Or be the oka, troll, what people so, na for shame, na kata so, na ko. This was on national television for a long time yet see her and as sammy brother sammy sir a singer no said the um a friend of who worship leader guy i'm a friend then worship because they say again i am a wedding you have my nation prophet nation worshiper nation my my backside nation whatever yet see her now or say or war it in siobi in siobi and the water would heal hiv the water will do this the water and the water and he collects the water at dawn and when the water comes from heaven this nonsense is what's going on in ghana yet see her yet see her yeah way so are we saying all this nonsense on television not even one minister has seen this not even one minister has seen this. Are we saying all oh, this thing that's going on in Ghana? Yeti ha and I grad I saw oh yes, Kagari who dine a two. So nobody has seen this. Me and Kotia, you see the malams, they get license. Who who gives them these licenses? Who how can Agrada say she does Sikagari and then has businesses? Who was Sikagaria? Would you, if you have the power to double money all the time and spend it all the time, would you open a business? Would you open a bar? Would you open a business? I mean, the fact you should straight away know that it's fake, you should straight away know that it's a scam for somebody that tells you they double money, but they have a business. They run a business to make money. It don't even make sense. How can you double money and make money? It's me double money. In so we be a business. One of the best story I know. I'm a story I made a braid wig. Now me name say I can double money. I can have a thousand pounds and triple it. Why would I wake up in the morning, go through all this, braid wig, advertise it, sell it, and patronize it, and then, then why would I do all that if I have double money? I will sleep, wake up, go shopping, live my, go traveling, do everything. They be, uh, me and my children will be traveling, will be on Maldives, we will be in Barbados, we will be in Ghana, we will be in some Iceland. I will even buy an island. How can somebody say they double money, but they have a business and they run a business to make money? Somebody that doubles money. I mean, just that argument and the argument of it is nonsense. So are we saying no minister has seen this? No government official, even if it's not your sector and you see, haven't you seen it? Yet see her and every movie, every other movie in Ghana, I advertise the control. Movie storyline from Kuma Wood to whatever, they are always advertised. Um, I mean, the movie storyline is all about and an aminisika. And I'm a coach, you see, Kedro. And I feel like I'm a me who yammy. And I yet deliver me. And I'm a minisika. And I'm a coach, you see, Kedro. This, I mean, you think 
when they see, I mean, the same movie industry, we promote slay queens. And a, a woman, the industry, the, sl the, the, the movie industry is always saying women are looking for men with money. Hmm? Women are looking for men with money. And men that don't have money are seeking to control so that they can have any woman they want. Um, I mean, at all the slay queens, it's all about young girls at our university sleeping with an old man so that the old man can, can, um, can um, pay her way through university for her. Um, I mean, so everything that's happening is what we portray. So we don't even have movies that teaches us anything. One of the best movies I've watched is with Naama K. Abrebrese. It's on Netflix promoting how the northern, the girls from the northern sector shouldn't come to Accra. Um, they, we should try and find development and we should try and find opportunities for them in, uh, um, in the north. And they shouldn't come to Accra to come and do Kayayo and have babies and sleep on the streets and stuff. These are the best movies we need to come out of Ghana. But I know they're here and show. Yeah, Slay Queen. Yeah, I mean, it's all about these comfort. Sike Draw, Slay Queen, women sleeping with men. These are the kind of storylines we have in movies. We have no educative storylines. So, why are we surprised? Because when the little boy comes up, and when I'm talking about these malams coming to advertise, and ya na jufau, daylight, daylight, national daylight. Daylight. Yeah, and we are actually promoting it. And then they'll have a presenter. A presenter said, come, a come. You see, people are so inter interested in feeding themselves only and having money. They don't care about the integrity. There is no integrity in Ghana or in Africans. We just want to make money. We don't care who we destroy. We don't care what we destroy. We don't care what's happening, how it's going to affect somebody. As long as they make money, they don't give a damn. So you have a presenter with the malam. And the malam will be telling the presenter, there'll be a number, call me, double money. So why are we surprised that a 16-year-old or a 17-year-old went to kill a 10-year-old boy for money rituals? Why are we surprised? Because it's a daily occurrence. It's a normal thing. Christopher J, how can a malam own a business? It makes no damn sense. So, we will have a 16-year-old, a 17-year-old boy will go and kill to get it. Because I don't know who on TV so. And we shouldn't say, sir, Ah, then the mothers is their mother, is their parents. So far, so much as is the mother and their parents, no. There is a reason why we have government to protect the vulnerable, to protect children, to protect um the old, to protect vulnerable people who are easily swayed into things. So we shouldn't say your yeah, advertising ain't in our air will fall to now call you. That is the most stupidest argument anybody can bring through because before that's how I, sometimes you know back in the day before i educated myself in this matter i was thinking well you're advertising or according to your business wrong then i use where i live as an example i use where i live as an example that they there is a there used to be some television that, that this pastor victorious way be our um um our sky i don't think he's on sky anymore let me check Whilst I speak, he used to talk about how when you come to VPA, his church is called VPA. When you come to VPA, they will give you blood of Jesus and oil. Then you mix the concussion. And then so people will stop taking their medication. Cancer patients, HIV patients, um, 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 all these um, underlining people with underlining conditions, they'll come, they'll take this concussion and it's supposed to heal them. He got taken off television. That's sky. He got taken off the television. I don't think he has a television station anymore. I actually don't think he has a television. I'm actually checking on Sky now. I, because normally I'm thinking, when is the UK government going to go into this and solve this crap out with somebody saying they can heal? And so because of that, they used to put... um, uh, um 
uh what's the what's the word of this they'll put something like um like a discretion of um it's under your own discretion if you come and you you take it it's under your own choice and stuff it's not us it's you that's made a decision and stuff so they started doing that to protect themselves right they started doing that to protect themselves because they know that charlie if you don't say this now i don't see vpa on on a friend is saying on sky anymore i don't see it if i'm wrong tell me i don't see i don't see it because he used to come and say they'll mix it with the blood of jesus and then they'll be and then people people will come and say i had this and i don't have it anymore and this they took him off the television eh? the law is there to protect citizens if we don't have law people do whatever they want and so because of that that's why we have the governance in the country if it's not disclaimer and yes that's it they'll put a disclaimer to say um this this does not mean you shouldn't take your medic medication or this, it, we are not medical professionals so we cannot this we cannot talk about medical stuff and so da, da, da. they will put a disclaimer to protect themselves we any hand yeah wo and a broke a book the solution what about it and your hand that you a ye above four hour a bay phone cool and your hand yeah and we have my lambs like to i was i was saying to my husband i said so nobody not even one government official has seen this and will act on it and citizens are complaining and then we are saying ah well they are doing that because the station that television station they just want money so they don't care what you are doing that alone is a bad thing there is no integrity in the country everybody each for their own even the government don't have integrity they don't protect the citizens they don't protect anybody it is a shame it's a sad day the moment that young boy that 10 year old boy was killed for money rituals is the day we should realize we have failed the government have failed i don't want to hear ndc i don't want to hear mpp people are so hooked onto party political parties yeah that they are not even interested in the well-being of the country we don't care about ndc we don't care about mpp we care about ghana we care about what's happening to our children a country where you see children on the streets begging is a country with no future a country with no future because if I, if I show my 16 year old yeah this malam business she'll be like what the hell is this what the hell is this? Nothing. And don't tell me what well, London is different and Ghana is different. I think London for and you nipa a a dream team is the same people that is in Ghana. Most of these ministers have been schooled. Koko Fado and you London Oko school. Eko Fado wasn't he schooled out of the country? Wasn't Eko Fado schooled out of the country? So the brains. If he's coming back to Ghana, what is he bringing back to us? All these people, they went to school out of the country. They were educated to the highest level. They are educated beings. And we have all this on our television stations. And you're telling me nobody's seen this? Of course somebody's seen it. But they don't care. When you become an MP, when you become a, a minister, when you become a... a, a, a um the president you work for the people the people don't work for you but in ghana you become an overnight success and an overnight millionaire when you become a government official the moment you become a government official you become an overnight success it's only africa that this happens in this country ministers take trains to work ministers of the cabinet they take trains to work they ride bikes to work. God forbid. Ministers in Ghana, they sit in car with sirens in front of them. Ministers in Ghana don't even sit in traffic. Ministers in Ghana, they don't even sit in traffic. The only person that don't sit in traffic in this country is the queen. That's the only person that has siren in front of her with, with motorbikes and going, and going to where she's going. That's the only person that don't, don't sit in traffic. But in Ghana, are you, are your friend is saying, oh, what's the word? Um, in the area, not the MP. Assembly woman crampons, not traffic. 
assembly. We see musicians don't even sit in traffic. If a musician is late for school for, for, for a flight, they can pay the police and the police will siren them to the airport. Me boa. Me boa na. We have, we have, see, if you have money, eh, you will, you can pay your way through the police. And I don't want to hear nobody tell me that you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can pay your way. Me see, even musicians don't even sit in traffic. Men I make a troll. Musicians, they don't even get questioned by the police official. What Drew Barry are now your musician now? We are Shatawale or Stone Boy or some big person. No, hey Shatawale, hey Stone Boy, hey yeah, check it. We can't pull. So we can No, hey, that's hey, that's my star. That's my star. Pa 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 pa. Gone. That's how they roll in this country. Me see, Queen, the Queen's husband, Krampono, when he went to drive. And they felt he was too old, Krampono. They, he doesn't drive anymore. Even he, 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 even though he is the, the only person above the law is the queen in this country. The only person above the law. Because technically she can even drive. That, when I read, I was thinking, who is above the law in this country? The only person, yeah, is that's above the law is the queen. Nobody. Everybody else is, nobody's above the law. During this lockdown, when ministers took, um, drove from here to here some of them resigned because they got caught some of them resigned yes when they know they've done miss ghana ghana obiates me at your pet they don't care as long as you're a minister in ghana you are about you do whatever you want whatever you want now you're going to coffee and cool and on next on the two and become a me in tia say eh well they cannot they, they cannot battle the sikagari and the malams thing because they have people that will come that need to to bring evidence yeah and tiana woo quick one i used to not talking about obinim obinim case nakosi saying obinim case nakosi saying akosi saying ni nigel gazi mu case nakosi saying we have pastors publicly advertising oil that can heal hiv and they are still there. Because the moment you're a pastor, then you say a spiritual matter, you get away with it. As, long, as soon as you say a spiritual matter, you get away with it. Because I am spiritual. And some fool. How? We need to forget about MPP and NDC. Stop fighting for a political party. Let's fight for the country. Let's fight for the country. Quick one, I'm coming here. Eh, because bloggers be any nana grada queen, you know, they are not going to. When you were doing the expose of the pastors, some pastors came to beg, so you didn't expose them. How is that even fair? So, what you're doing is not an expose. Quick one, what you're doing on net two is personal attack, it's not an expose. You're not doing Ghana any good. You are personally attacking Obinim because Obinim has said something against your boss. Who quick one night? You are not doing no expose. Giant some phone out here, Ohono. You are not doing no expose. You are personally attacking Obinim. That's what you're doing. Obinim sati yene. Yene. The moment that young boy died was the moment we failed Ghana. We failed. We failed our children. Instead, I say, "I will come and MPP asema and a free education, free education." Listen, a free education that a minister's child would not go to is not good education. Woman, if woman is something for free and you don't want to use utilize the same thing, it's not free. It's not good enough. It's not good enough because in this country, in public schools, most of the minister's children are all in the same schools with our children. Most of the ministers' children are all in the same schools as our children. Most of them. You're giving free education where three months go, three months come, three months. Who a do? What Uba Uba Chrome has said no. Now go school three months, three months, three months. No, you didn't. I like Ekufadu because I thought he is so interested in education. Education is the key. You educate one person in the village, they change the entire village. So it's so important. I believe in education. But if we are in a, we, we are in, 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 a, in time where kids are still begging on the streets, we have failed the country. The future of the country is begging on the streets. Ghana is a, I know who, I know who, I know who. Who do we know? Who do we know? Who could pay a dream of cry? Is who do we know? People in government work 
will move on and put in their family member or somebody they know. You can't even apply for a job and openly be fair, fairly picked. You, you can't. You can't. You can't even apply for a job and be like, I've been fairly picked for the job. Like how I will openly go for a job interview here. I'll, I'll apply for a job here. I'll go for interview. And even if I'm not picked, I feel it's fair in a way. Even if I don't get a job, I feel it's fair. I feel it's fair. There is no fairness in Ghana. Obiaya diope. Obiaya diope. The government, MPP, the government, NDC, you've all failed. You have all failed. And why are we still sitting here and it's still going on? The moment, the moment that boy died and he went viral and all the news, news, um, the news um, TV stations and all of them picked it up. Is the moment they should have shut down any television station that advertised that crap. Kromha and Assassin Lysia, a dear Betchi, a dear Betchi, now the person that's in charge of line systems and stuff for the for the television station, Kromha, are resigning. Or the ferry be resigning fast. Or the ferry be resigning fast. Or be ferry crampo. They will appoint somebody else and then they will deal with the matter straight away. I'm not joking. I mean, that is how effective. And this, uh, the same people that has that, that has brought this country up are human beings with brains. The same in Ghana. Ghana, they are just obi and cast obey pasta. That means oyokni papa. We don't promote farming. We don't promote technology. We don't promote any other thing. Or because of air pasta, oyeni papa, oyeni papa, oyeni papa, oyeni papa, oyeni papa, oyeni Obi Obi person or photography. No, no, no. Or because of person, yeah, a pastor pen. Oh, then that's a good thing. And some phone, a country that produces more pastors than 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 farmers, than IT people, than bankers. A country that promotes more spiritual people that do nothing for us. Yet Tigana na okay for this of National Cathedral. We have schools. Who, they don't even have roof over their heads in school. They are sitting under trees. But we've been able to go and beg money and get sponsors to build a national cathedral. Say, because you're a chairman, Jesus, I will solve your problems. Am I in some fuck? And the people are defending this nonsense. Say, Yonko, 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 see national cathedral. And can national cathedral, any church buildings, never save Ghana. Every, every 10 yards, every 300 yards in Ghana, there's a church. Every 300 yards in Ghana, you don't need to walk far. You'll see a church. In my mom's area, in Matayoko, in that little vicinity, there's about 10 churches around us. There is a, it's about 10 churches around us. They do praise and worship as if the, the band, as if the band that's doing praise and worship is in our living room. Wakoto will die. Wako rente will die. Now, who na asunjie? Yet ho and yes, you have seen National Cathedral. You poop judges' houses. You you be free. You demand to go baby for fro. The same place that you have gone to Yaka. And they have far and more and more stones. We've brought stones from Israel. So if my for Israel, that stones no can be brought Israel for. And can be brought anywhere. They have far stones now. Bagana, you have seen dying. I was Ghana. You have seen National Cathedral. Why don't we build this national cathedral in a town where it's not where it's not known? Where we can bring tourism in that town, where we can bring um, a crowd, where we can bring traffic to that town and open that crowd, town. Why can't we build the national cathedral somewhere where it's not developed that we can use the proceeds from the so-called tourism of the national cathedral and actually open up that town, bring traffic to that town, bring jobs to that town, bring an no, yeah, 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 was center of Accra. As if Accra is not um, congested enough. Accra, there's no, just we don't even have parks, simple parks for children to play. The kids have nothing to do. We have no parks. How many libraries? How many libraries do we have in Ghana? How many libraries? In this country, every area has a library. Is it the FedEx people? Is your dad? Okay, if, if every little area, if you if you're in Lubisham, Lubisham has a library. If you're in um, every little area, they all have libraries, 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 reading, education, education, and everything. Thank you, education and everything. 
How many libraries? How many parks? That when I walk, when I walk to, to where I am, every little place has a park where I can take my children to go and swing on parks. These are basic things, eh? But it, it, it means a lot to children. How many libraries do we have in Ghana? For the children to pick up a book to even read, how many libraries? And so, I mean, let, I mean, before we even go to important things like hospital, hospital, we at the end and a maternity ward, ah, or babes, yeah, I fresh. It's, it, it's leaking. You see, your thought is leaking. It's literally raining inside the maternity ward. But we are so busy. We are so interested in a cathedral. Cathedral. When the basic needs, eh, the basic needs of the people are not met. Ah, Ekufuadu, I'm disappointed. Cathedral, they require the organa. Lighthouse Chapel have so many cathedrals here. Can we utilize one of those? Can we utilize one of those? Ah, who's, I mean, what stops Ghana being like London? Ghana also the, you swat, kitty, 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 kitty. In Kwasia, someone kwa neko su wagana ni yeti honi eshe. Uko kwa wili neka se, eh, we can't, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, um, politicize this. This is not, it's not only the government. We need rules and we need the rules to work. We shouldn't be able to pay our way through rules. This is the government's matter. It is a government problem. Yeah, every four years we vote. Every four years we vote. Every four years we vote. Every eight years MPP. Every eight years NDC. Every eight years NDC. But no, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed in the country. I'm sorry to say, they be on me and I see people that live there that are struggling. I'm saying, hey, I'm with you. I thank God that I don't live in Ghana because me means means naho. Means means naho at all. Because the way the country is run and how people are still hustling, being, and, and some people are able to have even good quality of life. No, I respect people that live in Ghana, Papa. Because Ghana, when you're broke, you are broke. Nobody's going to help you. If I lose my job right now, the government will pay my rent. They will pay my council tax. They will even give me small money every two weeks to feed me and my children. Ghana, when you're broke, you are broke. Hey, say when you're broke, you are broke. There is no help anywhere. No government assistance, no help anywhere. Because you have housing, you cry for um, affordable housing. cry. You don't for better than affordable housing. Ministers for better than affordable houses. In Crawford, they are better. They can do better. They can buy better things. Oh, my and they have to give them the affordable houses. You see her. You see her. Now you started some. A friend is saying some housing be a room in room, and the house the houses are falling apart. Waste of money. No government want to continue continue anything one government did. How is that? We need a country manifesto. We don't need a political manifesto because right now we know. We know that political manifestos don't help us. We need a country manifesto that says, Who real four years new and now qua uba A B C D Uba and near Drew D. No one continue E F G. Now so I continue. No one continue near your Drew Z. Yeah, near Samba back. A B ye need country manifesto. Ni a sign a country manifesto. Ni a D country manifesto. So into Uba. We don't want your manifesto. You agree for the next 10 years. Why the next 10 years? This is what we want to do in Ghana. Eh? This is what we want to do in Ghana. Into me, my A to B. Into also by the total of C, D, E, F. Are they? Ah! We need solutions in Ghana. We don't need you guys to come and tell us what the party didn't do or what the party did. What are you going to do? Do it now. We want to see it being done now. And the said, who wouldn't want to live in Ghana? Good country, good weather, and everything. You want to wake up in the sunshine. Who want to wake up in the snow? That I'm driving in the snow. That I'm driving. I have to drive 10, 15 miles an hour because, Charlie, there's snow. Small country, small country. Nana, a And a 17-year-old will not kill a 10-year-old for Sikadru. A bear dang. I have a 16 year old. She literally is turning 16 in a few days. Yeah, send it, yeah, send it a friend and say, I'm gonna send in the national insurance a card. She's like, Mom, 
I'm ready to work now. I'm ready to look for a part-time job now. So now you are in, you are in, you are actually installing the 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 work the uh, the work mentality in her. Hard work pays. Ghana. Obi ba kusku wa kusku wa kuhel wa kusku ne wobi asini na so eju ma crown onye bi. Wa your students? They be all your students. That be no be because it seems like it's better off to be a student than to be a worker. Wa kusku sa he enkrofo enkrofo kusku papa. Enkrofo kusku sa in sushi. A ye despite the certificate here, hey, and so people with degrees work for him. We're in a country, we are in a country where we actually have more apprentice apprenticeships, which is a very good thing, but we don't even utilize it. What are we doing? Yeah, I see you be some job place where young people can go and find they can go and find jobs for them. What happened to it? What happened to it? In a country where you can pay yourself out, what happened to that policeman that beat that woman? What happened to him? You ain't a free prison. You ain't a free prison. You ain't a prison. You prison. You ain't How many years no call You see, people can go and pay their way. You ain't a And as some guy, you know, on any man, Mitty Kroom has say, went to Ghana and he's a landlord and he's actually killed one of his tenants. Where is that person? Apparently, they can't find the person. He's probably paid him his way out of it. He's gone. That's the kind of country we live in. A country that when Ube Tme Ria a body, Ube Ria Yam, you'll be in prison for 10 years. We have a minister who has stolen thousands and thousands and, 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 and millions of cities on Namho. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening to him or her. Yeah. But Uko prisoner, what did you steal? Oh, Obi Bordio. Oh, Obi Banchi. Oh, Obi Yam. Eh, oh, be body, oh, oh, be banchi, oh, be yam. A naughty prison, oh. But we have ministers. We have people that have that. Me see, the thieves, the real thieves are the ones in suits and ties. The real thieves, eh, are the ones in, in suits and ties. The real thieves in Ghana are the ones with the suits and ties. The yes, sir, the yes, sir, massa, the honorables. Yes, sir, massa, the honorables. Ghana is falling apart. Corona, they are saying, oh. Krona say, more muti hold your hair. You guys are strong. You guys are strong people. Ah, more muti Ghana because who? Who muti Ghana? You have a car. It means you own the car. It's not even on credit. You have a house. It means it's your house. It's not even a mortgage. I respect people that live in Ghana and hustle. Hey, you people, you are the real, real people. Just say you are the real G's. We are dear Papa because Ghana who needs a car. <laughs> You are broke. Broke. Yet see her. And a pastor said, Foba. We have. Nansenya. And I, they said they took Bulldog to court because he, he said something threatening to the to the um their friend is saying to the um president. Nigel Gazi went to have a um an interview with Nanaba. What did Nigel Gazi said? Or say Bawa Mia Baba Nanaba share Nana Nana Kufa do shoes mu. And yet 2024, sa ten are and stuff. Now on order never be shed new shoes mu. So that means the only way for a, 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 um, a, a friend is a vice president to be a president is if the president dies. What what was Nigel Gacy saying? Or can it um or can it uh, in 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 some like I don't know what I forgot the way he said the the uh, the tree. But Okani in Kwemu, like he he bends it, he bends it and says it in a way. What what he's saying is a threat. It's a national security matter. He sat on national radio and he said something that is threatening to the president. Threatening to the president. Eh? What what have they done? Budo koka and nako yedinako. But because on your passive because of spiritual things in kwasiasem. What what Nigel Gazi said is nothing different from what Bulldog said. It's just that he said it in another way, but it's still the same thing. And so, what do we need to do? We need to do the same thing that we are doing to Bulldog. But no, can't, we live in a country. It's who you know. It's also Bempa on KBA. Then also Bempa hasn't said about a friend is saying Mahama. Nobody can arrest him because we're a nation prophet. I mean, who gives these titles? Then I also been pa and can about Mahama and no Osun. A father can fall and our ESA and our ESA and no national security. What did we do to him? Or your nation prophets?
so he can say whatever he wants. All spiritual people can say what they want. You can't do anything about it. They can say what the heck they want and they're going to use it's a spiritual matter to attach it. And then they can get away with saying, what kind of story so asem? Eh? What kind of story? I hope it's a Utsia motivational something. Utsia encourages something. Who's going to win the election? Who gives a damn? Who gives a damn? Fake prophets. Grace, go ahead. Fake prophets. And so still, Crawford, Nigel saw our oil. Nigel said our oil a free Israel. Now, Oba, a bear say, a bear say, a bear say. Need now, but can't your pain now? Because, oh no, no, oh no, no, oh no, no, oh yeah, a friend is saying, oh yeah, spiritual something. Spirituality, no, Queen of Ghana. I just say, anti spiritual something. Spirituality, and the Queen of Ghana. Eh, spiritual, eh, spiritual. Hey, spiritual. Now you do the DBI is people's family members that are doing them. DBI yeah, people's family members that are doing them. So say Ghana in your country, pa. Into because of that, the pastor will tell you say God showed me something. They've opened a door for you in Canada and in London. Why are they not opening doors in Canada for people? Why are they not opening doors in in Kaswa for people? That means maybe it's in uh, heaven. Into say a friend is saying a glass in kwa a kase a form Ghana your form that you're to heaven. He's not wrong. Because pastors may say they be an ami biomania, na ye be a queen be a mobi so kwa. A a a heaven on earth, a ya brochure queen na ye be a mumu. Pastor Bianca say ye be a queen. I'm a obi, I walk anishi. I'm a obi, I walk aswa. I'm a obi, I walk amasamai. Oh ye be a me say ye be a queen. I'm a obi, I walk a queen. Ye be a mumu. Na so free kuto kana kwa sa kwa inkrono. Oh sorry, I did be an audio sick comma pastors. What what what's young who sick and hair? Honestly, Ghana, I feel bad. We need to close most churches and leave the basic ones. We need to turn the churches into factory. Ghanaians, we are not honest people. But Ghanaians, we are not honest people. We are not honest people. Who cry we boost the end now? What be be a business? I will cry. I will feel a fear amount. Or that say business no, not the be or no need business. But Ghanaians, most of us we are not honest people. We are not trustworthy people. I was watching Akonoba. When you get the time after this video, go and check Akonoba's video out. And there's a there's a video that he played, and the pastor was saying, and the pastor said that he met some millionaires, and he and the million he asked the million millionaires say. Ah, why won't you open a factory and give and give the and give jobs and stuff? Or say, factory no bia on one who ni pafono, they will collapse the factory. Gabi, can you come and give me some water? They will collapse the collapse the factory. Or say, woma wa who ni pano, they will collapse the factory. They rather get visa and bring Indians into the country because they will take care of it. They will take care of their factory. They will take any, any section in the company where it's got to do with money matter and stuff like that. They won't give it to a Ghanaian because they, they say, he says that they will collapse his business for him. But Ghanaians, we're not honest people. Thank you. 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 How are we honest people? Who call bank? No one out now. You don't want to stand in the queue. You want to be the first to be to be served. Who got your passport? You don't want to take it to the through the normal process. You will pay. You will pay for them to do it fast for you. Le, I, Tasha, we are our own worst enemies. We are our own worst enemies. Huh? Come on. Yentiho. Yentiho. During the election, when somebody went and picked the ballot box and they shot him. Are we not the same? Isn't it the same country when an, a government official in when they were voting the seat of the, 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 the voting in the seat person in parliament and somebody went and picked up the ballot paper? Why didn't we shoot him? Isn't it the same process? The laws seem to work for rich people only. And it only works for the poor when they are when they've done something wrong. You will suffer. You will suffer. I can see a brighter future for a beloved. Ah, uh, okay. See that brighter future or ris um, risky. We, we are with you in seeing the brighter future. But the truth has got to be said. The truth has to be said. Yeah? Ghana. There's a, it's a problem. 
and Penny Four, and a lot of people, a lot of bloggers. We need, we don't need you to tell us that Fela Makafui has surprised the husband. We don't need to tell you. We don't need to tell you. You don't need. You don't need. We don't need you to tell us that Fela Makafui is swimming in a swimming pool with the boyfriend, with the husband. We need us to all make noise. So because apparently Akufuado has a social media person who comes and tells him at the end of the day what's going on social media, what's making heat wave, what's actually going viral. Is it about the country? Is something he can do something about it? So we need to make the noise as we are not in Ghana and can't do anything. Yeah, we need to make the noise for them for us to be heard for this malam, this ikagari, and this all these things to stop because these children are going to keep killing each other for money because that is what we've taught them. So that's what they're going to keep doing. We don't need you bloggers to tell us what knickers some um, celebrity is wearing or what haircuts Nanama McBrown is wearing. We don't need you guys to tell us that. No. We need you. We need you to come with us so we can have this fight and get these malams, get these sikagari, get these money ritualists on TV advertising in broad daylight. First, Nanama and we just have your money in Kukwemu. Before all those malams, they did it back streets. Nobody heard about them. Oh, now it's on national television, broad daylight. This is what we're doing. So we need to make all the noise. We need to make it go viral. We need to be. It needs to be hot so that it can get to Okufuado because he actually has somebody that tells him what's happening and actually what's going viral. Yeah, that he can actually. So he knows. Let's not act as if Nokufada doesn't know this is going on. He knows. And if he doesn't know, then the people around him are not doing a good job. We have failed the children. The moment that 10-year-old died, we failed him. We have lost three children. The two boys and the one that died. We have failed those three boys. We have failed them. We have failed them. If the television is not teaching anything, but it's telling you, come and let me give you sick draw. We have failed them. Sad church churches now or or so as so for now to talk TV stations need now we are say say need now we are say say and I come and buy this and I come and buy this and I cook him back and I honey and I oil I buy phone kung a handkerchief a dear and as so for are not selling in the church. What are they not selling in the church? They're selling everything and anything in the church, and because. You see, social media, the people that go for this Ikadro, they are not on social media. They are our, the ones that don't have social media. So the reason why they are the victims is because they are the ones that watch TV instead of social media. So the awareness on social media is not going to reach them. That's why we need that shit off TV. We need that shit off TV. Simple. Guys, I'm done. I'm gone. We have failed these children. We should be all be ashamed of yourself. If you're watching me today, even if your status... Put a status up to to, 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 to to support this. Let's get these to control this all these people off TV. Let's ban them off TV. Let's save our children. A country, a country, a country has no future if the children, this is what the children are doing. I mean, can you understand the, 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 the thought process? How the, the thought process of these children, are you actually understanding the thought process of these children? It's so sad that the children are in such a state that they actually think like this. This is how dangerous it is. A country that don't care about the mental health of children. country that don't care about the physical health of children. The country. A country that don't care about all these basic needs. Hospitals. Schools. Water. Electricity. These basic things. In 2001, we are still not there. In 2001, hospitals, clinics, schools, schools, water, electricity, roof over our heads. These are the basic things, basic things that we need. It's 2021, Gold Coast, where we get foreigners to come and take the gold out of our country and give us a percentage yeah? That we don't have none of these basic things, but we want to build a, a fucking cathedral. We have failed our country. We have failed our children. What are the future children coming to? What, what, what do we have in Ghana for the kids that are coming? What, what have we got left for them? Nothing. Shame on all of us. 
Shame on all of us. Shame to Okufuado's government. Shame to um, NDC government. Shame to all the government that have sat on that throne and done nothing about this.